Hey, if you're looking for some killer ways to upgrade your fall, this is the video for you. So hang out for a minute and check this stuff out. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future. It's fall, which is one of my favorite times of the year, and I've been checking out a lot of really cool gear over the last few months. In this video, I wanna take you through a few different categories of things I've been checking out, from EDC gear and gadgets, to some fall essentials, and even some of the coolest fire pit stuff I've seen in a long time. As always, I've done my best to shop around and try to find some of the best deals I can find online, so you can find those links down in the description. But let's get this thing kicked off by checking out some of the latest EDC gear and gadgets out there. All right, so we'll start things off by talking about a pretty interesting mix of EDC gear and gadgets I've been checking out here for the last few months. And then I'll also go in and talk about some prepping and safety gear that you probably need to have stocked. The world's just kind of crazy right now, so we'll talk about a few uh, critical things. But let's start it out with some EDC gear. Uh, first up, check out these little carabiners from Rovivon. So you may know Rovivon. Uh, from their flashlights. We've featured them a few different times in the channel. But if you're looking to kind of upgrade your keychain, this is a pretty interesting tool. So this is a little titanium carabiner. It has a few features that I actually haven't seen before on a little pocket tool like this. For one thing, it is extremely light. If you have like an existing carabiner on your keychain already, I guarantee you this one will be lighter. Uh, but the mechanism here, you can slide things over and get things really securely locked down in this little hook. Uh, which is nice just to keep things from sliding off. If you change keys and stuff often, um, it's not going to slide off of there. But two handy tools built into this. Uh, first, they have, if you don't already carry a blade, or maybe you just need a second blade, they have this little scalpel blade here um, as part of the thing. And it's actually a replaceable blade, too. You can slide these on and off, easily replaceable with standard size uh, scalpel blades. Extremely sharp, um, as you would expect, so be very careful with it, but awesome. If you just need a backup blade, if you need just a tiny thing with you, if you don't already carry something in your pocket, which you should, and I've got a good option I'll show you here in a second. Um, this is awesome for opening boxes and stuff. Again, if it wears down, it's a size 11, so easy to change out. Um, pretty cool little tool to have on you. Be careful if you go at the airport or through TSA or anything, but it does have a little lock there where it'll stop before it uh, locks back again. But um, great to have a little feature like that. But also, this has a tiny little locking screwdriver. So check this thing out, really made it for like uh, eyeglass size uh, hardware and stuff. So you got a tiny Phillips on there and it slides out for a tiny little uh, flathead screwdriver as well. Uh, but that stays in there magnetically. You've got an itty bitty little centimeter size ruler on there, which is cool, but it's totally locking. The thing is locked into place. So if you have to get in there and torque some stuff, uh, you have to push this tiny little locking mechanism down uh, to get that closed again. But all in all, a really cool little carabiner if you want a few extra little tools for your keychain. Now, if you're just looking for a really light carabiner for your keychain, check out this one from Wesson. I found this on Huckberry. Uh, super interesting. Also titanium, although it feels like a little bit of a nicer grade of titanium. But what you may have already noticed about this is this is actually just a solid piece of metal. There's no additional parts or anything. It just has these little cutouts, these grooves built into it here that allow this to bend and flex and just make it a super easy, extremely light, um, really handsomely minimalist uh, addition to your keychain. Very classy little tool to keep your keys organized. So a huge fan of that. Check that out from Wesson. Very, very cool EDC item. So let's talk about lights here for a second. I have two different options for you to check out, kind of on both opposite ends of the spectrum. So first up from Nightcore, you may be familiar with them, make super high-end flashlights. You've seen them in a few of our other videos. But what we have here, there's a brand new model from them, the MT2A Pro. Um, and this is just like, a really well done, long throw, small flashlight. So everything you expect from a Nightcore light, high quality materials, great grip and everything, um, water resistant, uh, super easy UI with a click button on the bottom. Uh, but what this excels at is a few different things. First off, it's just a great light with three different modes, low here, and just double tap to go up to medium, and then on high you get a thousand lumens. And that is because this actually, even though this is a super small, super thin light here, um, and can work on AA batteries. It actually uses this USB-C rechargeable 1600 milliamp hour core here. So you got a great battery built in. You can recharge it um, up in the battery itself right there. So again, USB-C is taking over the world. So I'd love to see it rechargeable like that. You can pop in double A's on this too. If you use double A's with it, it will only go up to 500 lumens. Uh, but the thing I really like about this, again, it's just a simple, very minimalist UI. Um, really high quality flashlight, uh, but check out, and again, it's not gonna come through in video. I'll show you some night shots of it, but it has an unbelievably great hot spot right in the center of it, and it has a really long throw too. This is a surprisingly capable flashlight in a small package uh, that'll just last you forever. Really strong option there from Nightcore, just hit the market, so be sure to check those out. Um, next up from Wubin, 
which you may or may not be familiar with. If you're an EDC nerd like me, you may have seen some of their options out there. They typically have a really interesting mix of features and everything. So this is one of their newer lights. This is the X3. And so when you first look at it, okay, you're thinking double lens flashlight, I've seen that before, a nice pocket clip and stuff. Uh, but it does look a little strange, it has a few, uh, a few little tricks up its sleeve. Uh, so first and foremost, just basic modes. Uh, click to turn it on, press and hold to cycle through modes. So you can see it's got a little, uh, I guess that's an OLED screen built into it. So it can go down to one lumen. And if you hold and go up to 50, 150, 150, 150, kind of cycle through those. Um, if you double tap, it goes up to a full 700 lumens, which is awesome. And so that was all coming out of one emitter here in the side. Now, if you press and hold from off, you'll notice we have a red option, which is awesome for keeping your night vision and everything. If you press and hold that, that little red light can actually go up to 80 lumens of red, which again is super awesome for being outside at night, illuminate things brightly without losing your night vision. Really, really great little thing there. But that is not all. So this model here actually glows in the dark. Uh, these feet on the bottom are a magnet for sticking this to all sorts of different things, which is great. It also has a USB-C powered magnetic charger that this clips down to, uh, but again, even more options, wireless charging is built into this. So if you have a Qi style charger, you can pop this down on it and it'll illuminate, light up and charge. But my favorite little feature is this swiveling head. Check this out. So it actually looks like an owl. So when you sit this down, um, it can kind of stay stationary or any combination in between. So if you need to pop this against something and then rotate the head to get the light that you want. Again, you have all those incredible lighting options built into a head that's super flexible. Uh, making this a compelling little light. So definitely check these things out. We will make some really interesting stuff. Some of the designs look a little out there, but I'm kind of digging this. As far as like a small pocket EDC light, um, you get a lot of flexibility with that rotating head in there, which I think is really, really cool. And plus it looks like an owl, which is awesome. <laughs> so really dig this. That's a Wubin X3, a good new light out in the market to add to your pocket. Now it wouldn't be an EDC video from us if I didn't talk about a new knife I'm checking out. And I have one to recommend today that I think you guys are gonna really dig. So this is the Pyrite from CJRB. And this is actually maybe one of the best budget knives I have ever used. I'm talking really, really love this thing. So it is just about perfect <laughs> in almost every way. Um, you may be familiar with this. Again, if you watch a lot of EDC channels on YouTube, uh, I feel like this knife has several different variants that are out there, all sorts of different scale styles. Um, but in my mind, this is just about the perfect size. Um, it's got little finger choils on here, which feel great. It's got a choil up close to the blade, which so you can kind of choke up on the thing. But it has this excellent little button lock that is just smooth as it gets. So easy to deploy this thing. I love the stone wash finish on this. I love the AR RPM nice steel. Just a really, really great blade. Perfect jimping here on the back. Uh, the thumb studs make it super easy to deploy. You can use the button lock there to flip it open. Uh, the G10 scales feel just about right. Even has a deep carry pocket clip. That's ambidextrous and go on either side. Just an unbelievably great EC knife. And even better, this thing is like 50 bucks online. Just about anywhere. Tons of different colors available of this. Um, perfect blade length, just around three inches. I couldn't be any happier with this thing. Uh, so as people, um, if you watch my stuff, people have given me crap over the years for recommending only expensive knives. So here's one that is budget friendly and absolutely belongs in your pocket. Um, just really dig this. So again, the Pyrite from CJRB doesn't get better than that. Really dig this little thing. Definitely go check that out. Um, another little tool that I've been using quite a bit, which you may have seen in my most recent travel EDC video, is the Gerber Shard. And I'll admit, I picked this up for some travel just knowing it was TSA friendly and didn't expect to like it as much as I did. But this thing is pretty great. You got a little Phillips head on here, it works as a pry bar. You've got some flathead stuff on here. You have a bottle opener. There's just all sorts of little uses and things that you can do with this. And it's like six or seven bucks. So if you lose it, um, you don't have to worry about it if TSA takes it for some reason, which I've flown uh, several times with this thing in my bag. They've never taken it, um, never even asked questions about it, but just knowing it's there is really nice. Um, but again, it's so cheap. If you lose it, you don't have to worry about it. Just about perfect size for your fifth pocket too. Um, so even if you're not just buying it to travel with, but just want a little utility tool beyond a knife, uh, really, really great. So again, one of those tools I saw for the last few years, finally picked one up. Um, pretty happy with that little thing. So the Gerber Shard is totally awesome. Speaking of travel, something kind of sneaky that I've added to my kits recently is this little lock picking set from Sparrows. Now I know at first what you're thinking of when you hear lock picking, you're thinking like illegal stuff and all that. Not at all, don't do that. Check the laws in your state before you pick up something like this. Um, but I got kind of in just the hobby of lock picking after watching, I guess like everybody does on YouTube, watching like lock picking lawyer and all those guys. Um, and just learning cool stuff as a hobby. But this little pit from Sparrows, I think this is called the Tuxedo Set. 
um, has just about everything you need. You got tensioners down here, um, and then you have just a whole set of um, all sorts of different picks and rakes and just about everything that you need in different styles. You notice mine have this coating. I put them all in plastic dip because I found it kind of uncomfortable just to work with just the metal. They come with just the metal um, when you order these though, but uh, a super interesting hobby to get into. A lot of fun to go get you like a cheapo master lock from Home Depot and learn how to pick it with just these. Makes you feel like James Bond, which is never a bad thing. Uh, but can also come in handy too. We were staying at a rental a while back where there was major problems with the water heater. Something was happening where, where things were breaking and water was leaking and we couldn't get in the closet. I was able to use a little rake real quick to get in the closet. And again, it looked like a superhero to my kids being able to jump in and fix a problem, but also save the house from uh, running into issues. But as far as like an emergency preparedness thing, probably a good skill to have. Again, we'll talk more about emergency preparedness here in a second, but um, Sparrows makes awesome kits. It's not like the little cheapo stuff you'll find on eBay where they'll just snap and break, made of cheap metal. This is really good stuff. So check that out. Um, lots of different bigger kits and stuff too, but if you're looking for one to start with, this would be the trick and it's pretty affordable too. So a uh, really cool little tool set there. And speaking of tools, we have a super interesting tool here from Leatherman, and this is the Leatherman Signal, something I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while. So I've always been a giant fan of Leathermans. Of course, you wanna have one in every kit, um, but this is a really interesting outdoors-focused multi-tool, which is something fairly unique in the marketplace. So right off, it's got the tools that you'd expect a Leatherman to have, uh, a really nice locking knife blade with a little liner lock in there, uh, super high quality. We've got a saw blade uh, built in, which can actually do more work than you think with these things. I haven't really put this one to much use yet because it just came in, but this has several other tools that are super useful for outside. So you got a little carabiner if you need to clip it on your pants. You've got this like big hammer pummel on the end. So if you need to drive in some tent stakes or just hit some stuff instead of just using the back of your multi-tool, uh, it actually has a spot that's uh, built for you to beat it up with. Um, you got a great pair of Leatherman pliers, which are just phenomenal pliers. You got wire, replaceable wire cutters built in there. And then you also have a typical set of tools on here. So, so with a nail nick, we can pull up an awl there to do some work with leather if that's your thing. You have a little combination can opener, bottle opener, and then their screwdriver, which works with all the little Leatherman bits and everything you can get. I recommend getting a bit kit uh, if you don't have one of those. It comes with a little Phillips head, flathead combo, which can do the job that probably you need done the most. Um, and this does lock in the back so you can click down this locking me mechanism right here. So pretty cool there, but there's also a few other little secret things on here. So you'll notice this little part right here, you see this sticking off, has kind of an accent color. We can pull that bar back and pry this up and you have a whistle, which I'll blow gently so not to blow your speakers. So you can actually blow that really loud. Um, whistling uses a whole lot less energy than yelling. So if you're in an emergency situation and you need to get somebody's attention, it's good to have. But you also have a ferro rod you can actually use to easily throw sparks and everything and light tinder, which is something that's awesome to always have on you. So very cool having that. It's kind of slides in back down the scale and you pull this little wire and then let it go to lock it back in. And a little bit awkward, I feel like the first few times you do it, but not too bad. And then also, again, if you're out um, in the woods actually using your knife and stuff quite a bit, how nice would it be to actually have a sharpener when you need it? And this has one built in. So we've got this little element here, which you can also use to strike that ferro rod if you want, but you have a nice little sharpener. So you want to um, top off your blade there. You can drag it along that. And also the little curved edges will work on these serrations. I'm typically not a serrated um, blade kind of guy, but it's nice to have that thoughtfulness. And again, to pop this back on here, you just push down your lock, um, slide this on, and then push it back up. So a very well thought out tool, even has a pocket clip, um, but you can get these in several different colors over at Huckberry. If you're looking for like the one tool you would need to go take out um, in the woods or maybe backpacking on an adventure, it's a little bit bigger than some of the other Leathermans, but it has so much stuff packed into it, it can do the job of so many other multi-tools. I think it's definitely something you want to check out. It even comes with the sheath and everything too, which you can put on your belt. So I think you'll dig that, but uh, really excited to get out in the woods and do some more work with this thing. All right, let's talk about emergency preparedness for a minute. Um, I don't think that you need me to tell you that the world is absolutely nuts right now. Um, the war is going on lately and just all the escalation of stuff. It's just scary, lots of dangerous situations going on. So I wanna recommend a few products that uh, you may think I'm crazy for even talking about, but honestly, it's just good to have stuff to protect your family with. Um, to start with the basics, make sure you have a really great first aid kit. And I'm not talking about like the Walmart kit that has some Band-Aids and like a Tylenol in it. I'm talking about like an actual first aid kit. Uh, in my mind, my medic probably makes the best version of that I've ever seen. So this is the latest version of their uh, MyFact Pro. 
uh, fact staining for a first aid kit. Um, and this thing is about as sturdy as it gets. You can see it's got mounting options here where you can mount it inside of a vehicle or somewhere where you can pull it away really quickly with hook and loop. Um, but just a really well-organized bag with lots of different connection points just in general. But uh, it's what's inside this thing that matters the most. So open this thing up. And what you'll find, I think, is one of the most extensive first aid kits out there. Now, previous versions of this, uh, years ago when I actually got my first one for my car, just had like a hodgepodge of different like off-the-shelf stuff and everything. And since then, my medic has grown so much. They've made all these great things uh, that they call like mods. So the cool thing is, maybe if you already have a bag but just want to add a few items that you see in this, you can go on their website and grab these mods individually and get just what you need. They're very reasonably priced. Um, really generous with their content, has a good rundown of what's on each one on the back, easy to open and close again, and all sealed and stuff to keep things nice, fresh, and safe. Uh, but this thing is like the one-stop shop where like, hey, I want a serious first aid kit for my entire family, what do I need? They will load you down. Now there's a regular version of this and a pro version. Again, I go with pro just because I want to be prepared for any sort of emergency that could happen. So this thing is packed to the gills with stuff. So we've got gloves, we've got a tourniquet already, we've got stuff you need if you get burned or anything. We've got some of the best band-aids on the market, by the way, they're super skin bandages. We got a ton of those uh, built right in here. You notice things are kind of bundled already too by the need you might have. So this is like for blood loss and stuff here. You see gauze, um, lots of different compression bandages. Again, these are all mods that you can buy from them for your own kits as well. Um, all that's kind of stowed in here. Clean and prep stuff over here. Um, stuff for blisters, a space blanket, we've got medications, so little packets of all these little medications you might need, which is, again, super handy to have and everything. Uh, we can flip it over here. Uh, chest seals, um, which again, go on YouTube, learn how to use some of this stuff, but you have airways and everything, so um, God forbid you ever have to use this stuff, but if you came up in an accident or something terrible happened in your home, where you need access to this stuff, um, or have a friend that maybe is a paramedic, just having the supplies that they need on hand, uh, I think could be like one of the most valuable and life-saving decisions you could have. So lots of different stuff in here. Again, we can keep going through it. Eye, eye rinses, instant cold pack, stuff for sprains and fractures, wound closure stuff. We've got some paracord just in case. We got some shears you can use to get clothes off quickly if you need to, some tape. Um, the list goes on and on and on. Definitely go to the website and check out everything in these. But again, as far as like a one-stop shop of great supplies, I just love the MyMedic stuff. I love their whole system with all these mods and everything. Just can't recommend them enough. So that's the My First Aid Kit Pro, uh, a product you definitely want to look at. Um, so next up are two items that uh, Mira Tactical sent me to check out. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Mira, uh, I, I think I knew them most for like their gas masks. Which again, I know it seems like if you're not into prepping, that may be like a crazy thing to think about, but it's crazy until there's like societal upheaval and all of a sudden you need this stuff, which again, God forbid you would ever need it, but it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Um, so a few items I think you should check out from them. Go check out everything on their website, of course, but um, they make really great body armor. So you can find a lot of folks online that make different types of body armor and everything. Uh, but if you get like serious body armor, which is what this is, this is actually level four protection which is good against like rifle rounds and everything. So what you wanna have if you're in the middle of a conflict and need some serious protection, but this is one of the lightest level four plates you can get. Uh, it's a 10 by 12 plate, goes right in a plate carrier and everything. Um, I think has like a 10 year warranty on it. So um, definitely worth checking out if you're shopping things around, uh, but you can get lighter stuff if you just wanna protect against handgun rounds and everything. Um, that may be what you wanna carry in your everyday stuff. I don't think you wanna pack this in the backpack. But again, you're in a scary situation. You need to have something to protect yourself. Uh, definitely check out their options. But this right here actually left in the box on purpose because of how shocked I was. So I've actually bought a few items like this over the last year. Again, just my prepping mindset because the world is nuts. But this is actually a Geiger counter. Um, and most of the ones you get out there or especially find on like Amazon or everywhere else um, are cheap seem really flimsy, seem really flaky, use strange battery technologies that's hard to find batteries and stuff for. But what you have here is Mira's take on it, which is their Geiger 2 portable decimeter, which is just a portable Geiger counter that lets you know your exposure to stuff. Again, hopefully you'll never need it, but check out the features on this. Water resistant, it's shockproof, rechargeable, uses USB-C, good grief. But in the event that there's some sort of terrible attack or bombing or something like that, having something like this for your family is awesome. Very simple user interface. You can charge it over here, again, with USB-C, which I don't know why it's shocking to me, but it's pretty shocking. Having that available is super nice. But to turn it on, just press the button. You get this nice clear display right here. 
um, and it'll give you a little beep and just over time tell you how much exposure you have. So it's a good way just in general to check maybe the background radiation of your home or wherever you live. Um, it's a nice way, a nice little tool to have that you probably don't have access to anyway. Uh, but use the same type of measurement instruments that you'd actually use uh, if you worked at a nuclear plant. So you can see the little tube right there collecting particles and stuff. And it'll just tell your exposure. Lots of different options to go through. Too many different things to even explain in light of this video. But if you're looking for a piece of technology like this, the last thing you want to pick up is a tool that when you're in a disaster situation, you need to actually use it. You can't figure out how it works. Um, this is like the total opposite of that. So well worth checking out. Uh, pretty affordable and available right now. That's one thing too when... The war in Ukraine first started last year, um, and everybody started getting worried about potential nuclear conflict and stuff. You couldn't find a Geiger counter anywhere. Um, as I'm making this video, these are still in stock, so I definitely go check that out. But again, preparedness items that you may not normally think of, but I think it's good having these in your kit and stuff. Protecting your family is always a smart move, and I think these are really cool products, so definitely worth checking out. But you know, that's enough of the scary stuff for now, so let's go check out a few of the fall essentials that you'll actually use every day. All right, so there's no doubt in my mind that jacket weather is the best weather. Uh, that's why I'm really pumped that fall is finally here. So I'm gonna give you a few picks for some of my favorite jackets and favorite hoodies and everything. I've done a ton of research on these things and keep coming back to these options. First and foremost, maybe one of the most versatile jackets ever, and that is the Flint and Tender Wax Trucker Jacket. You can find these things on Huckberry. They come in a ton of different colors now. Uh, last year, which I actually recommended this jacket last year too, but I really love this thing. Uh, last year I actually had uh, the tan version of this, which I still wear all the time. I like this thing so much that I went with the darker shade too, just to kind of match some different stuff. Uh, man, these things are totally awesome. Just about the perfect weight, not too heavy, not too light. Anywhere between like 40 and 60 degrees is like the perfect thing to wear. Looks great with just about anything. It's one of the few jackets that like, the more you wear it and beat it up, the better it looks, which is really cool. Got a button closure on it, um, has uh, lining on the inside. You can also get these with wool lining. This is actually the flannel lined one. I would recommend that you get a lined model. They do sell an unlined one but the wax can kind of feel weird on your skin for some people just something to take into consideration here uh, totally made in the usa which is awesome flint and tender like sources all the materials and everything here is actually fairly reasonably priced for what it is especially if you shop for other jackets like this online it's really hard to beat these things so definitely recommend that now if you're more of a puffy jacket fan i think you want to check out this one from railwind this is their wind zip jacket which is really cool let me throw it on real quick here we go fits really well just picked this one up a little bit ago and man i really really dig this thing now puffy jackets i feel like are all over the place but they tend to be like on the technical side where it's kind of that same shiny nylon and can sometimes fit a little bit boxy but man this is an awesome kind of classically styled jacket a lot of railwind stuff is kind of like this you can see the way the stitching kind of goes throughout it uh, tons of little baffles throughout it comes in different colors and everything but it's this nice kind of stretchy fabric uh, but also has this lining inside that's really soft almost reminds me of like a, a quilt or something like that but just fits very very well super comfortable to wear has a uh, full length zipper that you can actually zip from the bottom too so you can zip it all the way up of course and then zip at the bottom if like when you sit down you want to just kind of lay over your legs a little bit different uh, nice pocket here full pockets here on the side uh, but it just has kind of that classic, almost old school look to it. It comes in a ton of different colors. And they also have like a pullover variant with like, a, I think, what would you call it? Like a quarter zip uh, that comes down. But overall, I really, really dig this jacket. Uh, it's been super comfortable. So yeah, the Railwind Wind Zip, my other favorite jacket of the season. Now, if you're thinking about fall, the first thing that comes to mind is probably like wearing your favorite hoodie. Um, and that's something I've gone like crazy about this season. I went online, I searched like best men's hoodies. And there's a laundry list of options. There's all sorts of things to look at for that. So what I did, ordered a ton and kind of narrowed it down to what I found were the best ones uh, to recommend to you guys and I got a few things to look at here today. The first of those comes from American Giants. Let's throw this on real quick. All right so this is their mid-weight hoodie and I think varsity blue is the color for this uh, but really really dig these. Now again if you search for the best hoodie you're going to come across American Giant uh, for good reason. It's American made. Really great materials, fit extremely well, ton of different styles. Um, just the materials in this, the fit and finish, the stitching, uh, just super comfortable. Uh, really dig these. And again, they come in all sorts of different colorways and everything, but kind of a classic mid-weight hoodie. Not too heavy, um, but also not too light. They do have a lighter weight version too that's worth checking out if you're into that. If you want something a little bit warmer, I'm also a fan of their heavyweight hoodies. And this is actually a variant of that they call the Moto Jacket. Let's throw this one on. All right, so this is the same thing actually as their heavyweight hoodie. It just has a collar instead of the hood on it, which I thought was actually a different take. A lot of times you may want that comfort of a hoodie but not want the hood with it so I thought this is a good solution. I think this is their vintage indigo color uh, but this has like a lot of the same things I loved about their mid-weight hoodie just in a little bit of a heavier weight and a little bit more robust stitch and you can sell the elbow pads here 
um, have some reinforcement on it, but also kind of the same fit you'd expect from an American Giant hoodie. Uh, really nice, kind of a slim, more athletic fit. Uh, probably a little bit different than the big comfortable hoodie you may be used to, um, but really dig these. All of American Giant stuff's awesome. So yeah, these are one of the more popular hoodie options out there and for good reason. Uh, the other one that I feel like came up a lot in my search and I've actually been really impressed with is this one from Flint and Tinder. That is their famous tenure hoodie. So let's throw this one on real quick. All right, so there we go. So if you're looking for a well-built classic, super comfy hoodie, this is probably exactly what you're looking for. So like I said, Flint and Tinder's tenure hoodie made in the USA, um, awesome materials, awesome stitching, super good build quality, a uh, little bit of a heavier material, but softer in the inside. Definitely has um, a little bit of a thicker fleece finish and everything. Really nice zippers too, although in the other ones I just talked about, those also have great zippers and hardware. Really all these are well built. Uh, nice thick drawstring, really nice uh, sturdy hood to throw on. But all in all, this is just like a super comfortable, super nice take on a hoodie. Something that will be in your collection, like I said, for 10 years and last a really long time. Uh, even this little label here is actually a little bit of a pocket and stuff too. If you're looking for more of an upgrade for like the classic hoodie uh, with a little bit more of a forgiving design, not at all like baggy or bulky, uh, but it's a little bit more room maybe than the other models. I think you'd really like these quite a bit. And I have one more brand to check out that I've actually really like, and that's Cuts with their Hyperloop hoodies. So let's throw this one on real quick. All right, so what I like about Cuts is their like minimalist take on the classic hoodie design. So um, it's kind of a similar athletic fit maybe to like the American Giant, uh, but maybe just a little bit more streamlined. You'll notice if you can, there's like no pockets like outlined on the front of these. They're actually just like slits cutting the side of it. Um, and if we zip these up, it definitely is more form fitting. So if you're after more of like a slim athletic build, this may be up your alley. Definitely not a lot of room in these if you prefer more of a baggy fit. Uh, but these are great. Kind of have a stretchy fabric um, that I feel like if you're looking for something a little lightweight, it's more of a light layer than going like full on hoodie mode. Uh, you may really dig these and they actually have a really nice pullover version of these as well. Kind of the same features, same kind of stretchy athletic material with no obvious pockets in the front. They just have slits in the side uh, for your hands to go. Again, lots of colorways of these, but definitely worth checking out. But those are my four favorite hoodie options. Again, all these, if you want to get any of them, you can find links down in the description. Uh, I think it's worth your time to get like the perfect thing to wear this fall. Before we wrap up this video, I want to switch gears and actually go look at some unbelievably cool fire pit accessories. So let's go check those out. All right, so I don't think it'd be a video about fall if we didn't talk about fire pits for a second. Uh, if you guys have watched the channel at all for any length of time, you know that I'm a fan of Solo Stove. Uh, really dig their stuff. I've checked out several of their pits over the years. So this is their Yukon, which is their biggest pit, but this is the 2.0 version, which actually has a few really cool upgrades. If, again, if you watch my reviews in the past, you know that I didn't really love how you had to turn it over to dump the ash out of it. Um, but one really cool thing they've added to this to an already really great design is a removable ashtray where you can just pick out the bottom um, and scoop out the ash or use a tool to clean it out without having to dump it all out and everything, which is actually a really cool upgrade for these. Um, so I've been having a lot of fun with this thing over the last few weeks, but they also sent me two different accessories to check out, which I think are actually some of the more interesting fire pit accessories I've seen out there. Uh, the first of those probably solved one of my biggest gripes with kind of these modern fire pits, and that is this heat diffuser, which looks like a giant solo stove kind of UFO thing. Uh, but this thing is actually pretty interesting. You can see all the char on the other side here. Uh, but basically all this is, is just a big metal disc. So you know these fire pits, when they release their heat, they kind of go up in a cone. And so if you're sitting around it, you don't get all that warmed up from them unless you're super, super close. So this seeks to kind of solve that problem. Uh, it comes this little bag where you just kind of take these legs out and pop them in. There's three different legs. It kind of works like a tripod that sits on the pit. Uh, but once you set it up, get your fire going, set it down the pit. Be careful with your hands because it does get hot. But what it does is it takes all that fire, receives it in that cone in the bottom there, and then just deflects it over the side with that heat. Instead of going mostly straight up, it'll actually go out over the edges and over the people sitting around the fire, which is super nice. So in my experience, I tested it a few different times. Uh, just use like a little infrared thermometer to check it out. And you can notice an immediate tangible difference in that heat coming out. Uh, actually about six or seven feet over to the side. So if you have one of these pits at all um, and you like to use it in colder weather where you're really relying on it to stay warm, it's well worth uh, checking one of these out. It's well built, has the same kind of solo stove warranty and the same uh, stainless steel and everything else. But as far as other accessories go, we're gonna go take a look at one of the most interesting fire pit cooking accessories I think I've ever seen. All right, so this is Solo Stove's pie fire pit accessory. And I'll just tell you up front, this may be like one of the craziest fire pit accessories I've ever seen, but also maybe the coolest. 
Um, had no idea what to think about when we got this thing. Uh, it came in a big box, just like the new solar stove. Uh, didn't take too long at all to put together. You just kind of take it out, everything out, flip it over, attach the legs, and put this stone in. You're pretty much good to go. Uh, but man, this thing is surprisingly cool. So you've probably seen other pizza grilling tools and accessory on the market. There's gas-fired ones, there's standalone wood fire ones, there's all sorts of different brands out there. Uh, but this is the first one I've seen that actually is an accessory for your fire pit, which is kind of nice because you don't have to worry about all types of different fuel sources or anything like that. Uh, basically, it just involves getting your solar stove going, sit this thing on top, and getting your wood going um, as fast and as long as you can to just get that heat blasting out the bottom of this thing. So it's got a little kind of disc area below the pizza stone that absorbs all that heat. And over time, now it took me about 30 to 45 minutes to get it up to temperature, but over time, all that heat will warm up the pizza stone, warm up and kind of circulate around the inside with some of the solar stoves like air circulation technology they build into these things. Um, once it gets to about 600 degrees or so, it's ready to throw on some pizza. Um, and it's pretty great. So you can use these gloves that it comes with to handle the stuff. It's got a big paddle that you can slide the pizza in with. Um, as long as you can figure out uh, your pizza dough dynamics and put it on this thing, you end up with actually a super good pizza. Uh, so our first try of it, we did some dough and stuff and quickly realized that we didn't do like cornstarch or whatever you had to put in the bottom to get to neatly slide off the paddle. So we ended up with the calzone first, uh, which wasn't bad at all, but ended up to a second try, got it on there. And ever since then, we've kind of had it down, but man, super good brick oven style pizzas. Um, and also in my mind too, this actually doubles a little bit as a heat deflector itself. Uh, so the way the heat radiates at the bottom of this thing, it naturally kind of shoots out to the sides. So if you are a giant pizza fan and are also kind of interested in the heat deflector, you may just want to look at one of these because it kind of does the job of both things. If you plan on doing pizzas pretty often. Also comes in its own storage bag, but overall, as far as like cooking accessories go for these grills, I tried all the different griddles and grills and grates and all that stuff. This might be my favorite one out there. Pretty cool and definitely worth checking out. All right, so there you go. Those are some of my favorite fall picks in a ton of different categories, EDC stuff, prepping stuff, stuff to wear, stuff to grill with, stuff to get around a fire pit with. As always, if you want to get some of these things yourself, you can go down to the links in the description. I kind of shopped around, tried to find the best prices I could for you guys. But I think you'll have a lot of fun picking up some new gear to check out during the fall season. So that's it for this video. Hey, if you think I need to go check something else out, be sure to drop it down in the comments. I always take a look at those. And if you dug this video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more cool stuff like this down the line. We'll see you next time.